Hello and welcome to another video. In this one we're going to be talking about get clean, which is a really cool command. Um, I run a very particular set of options with it, so I will show you those options and I'll explain what's going on. Uh, but somebody in my Twitch chat asked about this, so I figured I'd I'd talk about this command because it's so it's so useful. Uh, so let's jump into it. Okay, so today I'm sitting inside of a Git repository that I've just freshly cloned called PyUpgrade. Um, I am going to generate some build artifacts as well as some other files in it just to show you how Git Clean works. Um, so the, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to run the test suite. That'll create some uh, stuff. Fortunately, .tox is in my Git ignore, so it won't actually show up in Git status or anything. Uh, but those files will be there. So you can see if we do ls dot talks that directory exists but if we do get status you'll see that you know the working di working directory is clean um it's not actually as clean as i would like it to be and so we'll, we'll get to that in a second i'm also going to create a, a haphazard file here so if we you know touch foo uh that'll show up and get status so we can see this as well we're also going to make a directory and put um a file in it we're also going to make an empty directory Make their empty. Uh, and if we do get status, you'll see that the empty directory doesn't show up in get status, but this, you know, untracked directory with a file in it does, and this file does. I'm also going to clone another repository. And all of these are important. <laughs> um, cool. So now we have a bunch of junk in my repository. Um, and maybe I want to clean this up. Maybe I want to get my repository back to the fresh, pristine clone state. And the way we're going to do that is with the get clean command. Uh, get clean dash dash help. This is, you know, some of the some of the options here. Uh, the command that I always run <laughs> is get clean dash fxfd. Um, I don't remember when I picked this up. I want to say that my coworker Buck at Yelp actually showed me this. Uh, but these are the options that I always use, and I always write them in this particular order. Uh, this is GNU short options. This is actually short for dash f dash x dash f dash d um but you can slam them all together and do fxfd um, or you do ffxd the ordering doesn't matter um it's just these set of flags and that actually includes dash f twice and you might ask why why dash f twice and we'll actually look at the the options here and, and describe why i would need all of those um but yeah let me put fxfd back um, before we run this, there's also a useful option which previews what it's about to do. So before you do a destructive action, it's often a good idea to see, you know, what it's going to do. And you can do that with dry run. Uh, and so if we do dry run here, it'll actually show me all the things that it's going to delete. There's actually more than I, <laughs> more than I remembered. So we, you know, we're going to clean the talks directory, which we talked about before. The build also has a side effect of creating, you know, coverage reports. It also has PyCache, which is the, uh, PyC files. Uh, this is the Git repository I cloned. This is the directory I made. This is even the empty directory that I made, which wasn't showing up in Git status, even though it wasn't Git ignored. Um, and that's because directories can't be checked into Git. Uh, the file I created, as well as you know some egg info and more PyC files. So dry run will tell you exactly what it's going to do. Now let's talk about each of these options uh, together. I'm actually going to skip the Fs towards the end. Let's start with uh, D first. And if we read the option over here, uh, I'll give you the TLDR is that D will recurse into directories to delete them. Um, and uh, so that that if we don't, if we just run get clean by itself, you'll see that it would only remove this file. It's not going to remove this directory and it's not going to remove the clone directory that I added here. Um, this, this clone directory here. So it's only going to remove this file. Um, but if we do get clean dash D, it will now recurse into these two directories that I created, including the empty directory. Now note that it didn't recurse into this uh, Git repository here. And that is because Git repositories are treated specially. Uh, we actually need dash F to handle Git repositories. Git will refuse to modify untracked nested Git repositories unless a second dash F is needed. So that's, that's, uh, that's where the second F comes in. So if we you know, do DF, You'll see it doesn't change anything, but if we do DFF, now it'll remove AST pretty. And so this is this is passing force twice. And then the last option is dash X, and this is uh, delete things that are get ignored. And so if we just do get clean dash X dry run, you'll see that it removes just these files. 
Um, if we do xd, it will remove directories and files. Um, but again, like we don't have ASD pretty here, so we need those two Fs so that it can, you know, FXFD so it can actually delete everything. And finally, I'll show you it running. So if we do this now, um, you can see that it cleaned up git status and actually the, the set of files here is exactly the same as when I cloned this repository. But anyway, that's that's the git clean command that I run, as well as, you know, dry run, which is a, a useful option here. I don't really know what any of the other options do, but I <laughs> I usually use those two. So hopefully that'll be all you need as well. But anyway, if you have additional things you want me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.